So hi and welcome to this another episode with me Ashi and in this video I'm going to specifically talk about Jackson Bangalore. The reason why I'm making this video again is being is because I've recently been to Bangalore and there I've realized that you know a lot of students in Bangalore come from Andhra Pradesh, Kerala, right, Hyderabad and all these uh, you know neighboring states where they don't speak Hindi. So this video is specifically for all those students who don't understand Hindi so will be in English so let's get started. So I hope you guys are doing it because I'm doing absolutely superb. I'm talking about Jagdish Safe School of Management, which was earlier known as IFIM. Now currently they also have IFIM and uh, I don't know, they rebranded Jackson. I mean, I still have confusion. Let me just clear that confusion. So earlier they used to offer MBA uh, from IFIM and PGDM from IFIM, right? They said that they have started PGDM, they have reframed IFIM PGDM with the name of Jagdish Seth School of Management, which is still confusing. So let's not get there. So Jagdish Seth School of Management, Sir Jagdish, I mean, he is, yes, Padma Shri awarded and he was the initial faculty of IM Ahmedabad. I am Calcutta, so sorry, I am Calcutta. And that is the reason, you know, his name play a very vital role in terms of marketizing the college. But after interacting with these students, what I have kind of analyzed that students haven't interacted with him so much. They just have this one, uh, you know, kind of, uh, you know, that Zoom meeting, session where he addressed a lot of things but apart from that they didn't uh, they didn't interacted either in terms of uh, teaching there might be a thing that they have designed the curriculum and everything but in terms of interaction they have just heard the name in major but not uh, uh, they haven't seen much of inputs out coming out of it so that's as per students that's what i'm saying right so this is basically about the college this is the accreditation acsb accreditation sac AIU, AICT approved, NB accreditation. So they have all these accreditations and affiliations. They have this global partner school of international MBA, which is USA, Australia, France, luxury management, sports management, design management from Kedge Business School, Paris. So all these collaborations they have. Eligibility, they accept CAT, ZAT, CMAT, and they even have their own entrance examination, I think, which is not mentioned here. That's called, yes, it's mentioned here. It's called JAGMAT. So let's say if you don't have score in CAT, ZAT, MAT, I mean, you can write JAGMAT and you can get the process the admission process is not that difficult again i'm telling you i mean let's say if you're looking for b schools in bangalore you might see a lot of b schools out there right and every b school claim all total different thing right but you need to verify because you're making a huge investment let's say 15 lakh 16 lakh so you, that investment should be worth right it should not be like that you are going blindly on what mentioned on the website so that's the eligibility criteria. The admission process is not that difficult. It's very easy. Yeah. So they offer PGD in general, marketing major, finance major, analytics and digital business as in specialization. And this is the fee structure. I mean, I think 19 lakh. Then you have to pay extra fee structure and everything. Uh, right. Uh, earlier, there was this one thing that only first year was compulsory to be in the hostel. This year, I think you have to be in the hostel for the two years. And uh, the campus is not, I mean, very big but it, it's good right i mean you have all the facilities which is required where you know they have department for ifim also they have department for jackson and sometimes the classes for ifim and jackson are even common but it is with some classes not with majority of the classes so fees include boarding and lodging in hostels so i mean i think the 15 lakh investment is something in which everything is included so that's this now this is the campus life the ground facility and everything is not big but they have this ground which is in front of hostel where you have all the things you can chill out you can relax right in evening if you're there in the campus this is the library and the classrooms and all these things now talking about the placement which is the main highlight of this college they're claiming an average package of 10 lakh 21 thousand after interacting with these students what i find out is the average is near about 7 8 lakhs and that to 7 8 lakhs to students who are like among the good students in the college so i mean there's nothing like 10.21 lakh as the average package the average package is near about 7 8 lakhs uh, there is this one question that should i go for this college or not so in that case you know you need to kind of analyze that what other options you have in your list and out of them you know where to place this specific college and if you want to know more about that 
reach out to the students or you can even do one thing fill up the profile analysis form link in the description box where you can get detail about all these colleges and everything so these are the scholarship which is being offered by the students right i think uh, 4 lakh scholarship that is for general category and uh, then we have the scholarship called ews scholarship that is 10 and 50k needed to be paid towards registration that's pretty much about this episode do not forget to like share and subscribe i hope you like this video for more such videos keep watching our channel and do not forget to like share and subscribe.